Alright, over at the control board of the driver station, this right here is your power to your driver station, which obviously goes to where power reads. Okay, and now the control board is getting power, it's starting to load up. As you see, the very top reads your team number. The system is currently disabled. Uh, the mode is teleoperated. Battery, voltage, and this is the revision of the software that's installed on the controller. Um, also, if you take a quick look, right here is our dongle switch. And this, will, this is what creates the disabled and enabled uh, status on your screen here. When I flip, when it's in the down position, it's disabled. And as you notice, the light on the robot is flashing very slowly. Okay. Once the robot is enabled, which the switch would be in the up position, all right, the light on the robot becomes a solid amber color. And with our robot, our shooting wheel spins throughout the entire match. It's, although that speed is adjustable, we have a knob right here. Your co-pilot is in charge of the speed. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but you can hear the wheel start to spin a little bit faster. And then we can slow it down. Um, over here is your pilot station. And he's in charge of driving and picking up. And we I want to drive straight, single joystick, I will just press forward. Okay, if I want to turn left, it's going to turn left, just push the joystick to the left. If I want to turn right, push the joystick to the right. Reverse, backwards. Okay, very simple. Um, if I needed to pick up a ball, the trigger on the front of the joystick activates the front roller. Okay, so as you can see, I'm, I'm squeezing the joystick and I'm controlling that front roller. My assistant here will feed a ball in just to give you a quick... Captain advantage. safety! And as you see, the ball rides up to the staging and that's as far as it'll go for this point. And now it's all the responsibility of the co-pilot. You come over here, and the co-pilot, he uses a trigger to transport the ball as well, but this time when he pulls that trigger, the entire elevator system will run and that ball should shoot out of the top of our turret. Okay. Um, he also has the ability to pick up balls with the same trigger. So if the driver is a little bit preoccupied, maybe playing defense or something like that, the co-pilot can also pick up the balls as well. He also has the ability here, as you can see on the left side here, up and down. He can reverse that if there was a jam of some sort and also carry it back up. Now, we have a turret, a turret at the top of the robot that's controlled by this joystick and it's basically left or right and you have 180 degrees of motion. Let's say you're a little bit off-centered this, center, this, number, or this number three button right at the very top of the joystick will automatically center the turret. So once I press down on that, that turret centers. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, nothing else.